Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Old Guys Garage. Today we're working on Isaiah's 1967 El Camino. We're custom fabbing uh, his tail panel, and because uh, they don't make it anymore, no one makes them. I guess they don't think it's uh, you know economically feasible to make a tail panel for a one-year car. Uh, so understandable, but anyway, we got to make it from scratch because no one makes them. So stay tuned. We'll be welding on his panel today. What is up, guys? Warning, this video contains fast welding images. It may cause discomfort and trigger seizures for people with photosensitive epilepsy. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, there's uh, El Camino. Now we gotta get it pulled out so we can work on it. It's jammed up next to the Chevelle, which is gonna look like that pretty soon. And there's about one inch between the, Sh the El Camino and the Corvette. And we got to pull the truck out first to get the Corvette out because the Corvette is in between two posts. All right. Let's get her done. Now it's Christmas time. So we're jacking up the El Camino because it's too close to the Chevelle to just get in it and pull it out. So we just put a new carburetor on it. So the carburetor the motor's running perfect again, or for the first time. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but the truck sounds like it's got a little more cam in it. We put a bigger, we put a bigger carburetor on that and took the, the 600 CFM uh, uh, Edelbrock and put it on the El Camino. Okay guys, we're uh, getting the tailgate lined up and we got this seam lined up nice, fits smooth, top's really close, the gap is good. So we got that side lined up first. Now we're over here, we're getting ready to weld that panel on, the one that we fabricated for right here. And we have this gap pretty close and um, they fit the the seam is nice and it's they're lined up so we're gonna tack it right here just to kind of keep the upper piece in place 
and then go ahead and put the panel up there, Isaiah. Yeah, so we've been uh, actually doing some off-cam work on this panel. Uh, looks a little bit different than uh, last time you guys have seen it. Um, but basically, we've, we've gotten it as close as it possibly can be. Um, we're going to tack it on today, so um, we'll get right into it. Cool. cool. Just attack well. Let it cool. <coughs> so I I amp the amperage up a little bit, but then you start blowing holes through the metal. Mm -hmm. It welds better, and then you got to feed the wire a little faster. So I fed the wire a little faster. So we're at 14, and I think it was at 12, wasn't it? This one. Mm -hmm. This this was like at eight. The wire feed speed. Yeah. Let's see where this is at. Looking pretty good. I mean, it's all, it's all. Yeah, this one's not. That's it's not welded. Yeah, that one, that one's not. Enough. Yeah, I want to get the grinder, clean that up, and then pull this out a little bit and then tack it again. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this if the tailgate fits right now. Do you want to finish that one hole right there? No, I don't want to finish the hole because if it's not, I got to break the weld. Okay. even on the phone. Is it? Yeah. Let me do it. Clipping off some of the excess.
All right, guys. Well, um, got the welds up here a little bit cleaned up. We still gotta, you know, clean up the side welds over here. But I mean, for the most part, that's what it's what it's looking like right now. Uh, we need to get some metal to fill in this area right here. Um, get some shims over here. Um, gonna be a lot of work, but um, it's getting there. Yeah. I mean, that looks tons more like this side now. Yeah, let's close it and see what it looks like. Yeah. So this is what it's looking like. Um, it's pretty good. Shaping up, getting there. Oh yeah, let's show how the bezel fits in there. There you go. There, that's how it goes. Yeah. Um, she's coming together. Be on the road soon enough. Amen to that. Hey guys, thanks for staying tuned all the way to the end and watching the video. If you like today's video, please hit the like button. That helps us uh, get more views on the channel. And uh, also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And thank you to all our subscribers. We really appreciate you guys subscribing and watching the channel. Uh, we're looking forward to growing it into something really cool and doing a lot of cool builds on the channel. So thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. In the next episode, we will be working on uh, Uncle Nick's uh, 64 C10 pickup truck and uh, finishing lower in the rear end 5 inches. So stay tuned. That will be the next video uh, upcoming. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.